ray tracing models are often used for uh, radio channel modeling in indoor areas in this type of software you have the layout of the building in this case we have the layout of the seven rooms in the second floor of the Atwater Kent laboratories in Worcester Polytech then uh, in the software you can locate the location of the transmitter and the receiver and then the software automatically finds all different paths which are connecting the transmitter to receiver these paths are either reflected through different walls or transmitted through the walls we have a number of walls around so we have a number of diff different paths for example in here we have this path which is our line of sight path which directly connects the transmitter and receiver only through one wall in the middle we have other paths for example like this one which comes passes through the first wall passes through the second wall reflected from here passes through here reflected in here passes through here passes through here and comes in here so when you look at all the picture we have a number of these paths and for each of these paths we know that how many reflection and how many transmission is involved as a result and also we know the length of the path using the number of transmission and the reflections and the distance of the path we can calculate the strength and time of arrival of each of the paths so as a result then we can generate like impulse response of the channel which is all these paths their strength and their time of arrivals that direct line of sight path that we had is always the first path because it arrives the first it's the shortest distance between the transmitter and receiver necessarily is not the strongest path all the time but in this particular picture it was the strongest path then these are other paths which are arriving through different combination of transmission and reflections so this particular impulse response that I have in here is the impulse response of the channel between the transmitter and receiver that we observed earlier in here we can use this for performance evaluation of uh, the channel if we want to use it in a static manner like this we use it directly if we want to create a dynamic environment we will add a random variable or a random motion to the amplitude of each of these paths generally ray tracing algorithms provide a very good prediction of the average received power so they are very useful for finding the coverage of the access point or base station in indoor areas actually they are the best tool for evaluation of the coverage area for indoor area indoor environment they also provide a reasonable estimate of the multipath spread of the channel which can help us to find the maximum data rate of a modulation technique